Hey, this is Prometheus giving you another uh, game, full game recap. Uh, once again, I'm going to be rolling with uh, the 34 defense on uh, on uh, defense, but this time actually I, I was using a, an offensive book that I wasn't really familiar with. So um, my opponent was really not that great. Um, basically, he didn't. He didn't really have a lot of like common skill sets uh, or just common knowledge about the game, and he didn't really make really good choices. But I just want to show you that uh, this uh, this blitz scheme that I've been using uh, for my defense is very very effective. So right there, uh, once again, to get my opponent in a in a third and four uh, a third and twenty four type of situation, hit him with the blitz again. Um, basically, you got those deep uh, deep halves set up. And he doesn't make any kind of reads. He has no reads whatsoever. So I'm able to go ahead and get him uh, sacked right there. So fourth and 34. He doesn't go for it. He punts the ball off. I get the ball. And I just do uh, just a, a little uh, uh, fair catch. So right here I realize I don't have my offense. Um, I was actually been working with Chicago Bears. And I, I really didn't have my offense. So I just quickly go ahead and just uh, pick up um, a, a little stretch play right here. Yeah, because you had so many guys in the box right there, I'm actually just I just put it going to to um, uh, into slants uh, or actually a stick right there and actually hit the ball, uh, pick up about a six yard gainer. So once again, he comes back. He was using an engage aid on that previous play, so I go back into stick again. Uh, he goes into a man uh, or into uh, another uh, blitz right there. Now what he was doing defensively, he was he was taking Deion Jones and he was manually blitzing him. Um, and I wasn't really prepared for that necessarily because I don't see a lot of people using uh, their linebackers. But right here, I actually, with a little stretch play, I'm able to pick up a couple yards right there. You got some block sheds. So I jump into verticals, um, and uh, what I do is I go ahead and drag up my uh, slot receiver and do a deep comeback route with the expectation you can do a comeback route. But you can see right here, he actually sacks me with Deion Jones uh, with the manual sack. So that was pretty much his defensive, uh, his defensive scheme uh, throughout the entire game. So right here, I jump into a uh, mesh spot. Um, I was labbing this in another play, um, and uh, I'm able to go ahead and put, drop it down. After that blitz uh, sack, I actually got a little bit happy feet, and I, I just got rid of the ball to the flat real quick. So I settle for three points. figure, okay, I haven't really seen this guy. Anything is on this guy's defense, so I'll just do this. So I start off in first down. I start off in a, in a nice cover four shell. When I got it shut, shut down his run, and then I go in uh, second down and do the the uh, the, the uh, sting bench uh, uh, pitch uh, blitz that I got set up, and of course he does play action. You can see I've got like four defenders in the backfield to go and sack him. So third and 16 situation, I'm going to go ahead and send the dogs after him, force him to go block a running back, uh, force him to make reads. Uh, he doesn't block a running back, and once again I go ahead and sack him. So uh, this guy wasn't learning uh, from his offense uh, offensive mistakes. He wasn't learning from the pressure I was taking. So uh, right. Right here, I'm able to go and get the ball um, right on the 43-yard uh, line or so. So I think I, I try to come up with a little inside zone, um, and, and you can see he just he's shooting his his defending uh, linebacker Deion Jones right through the uh, through the uh, the gaps right there. So uh, you now you start really getting to feel for what he's doing on defense. I think he was running a cover through shell. You can see he actually tries looping around right there. I I realize that he's going to leave a void in the middle of the field because he's not playing in the middle of the field. He's using his fast linebacker to try to blitz in and try to cause uh, chaos. So right here, I think. Um, um, I went ahead, I did the mic off to the right hand side with the hope that I can actually go ahead and get some nice running. Uh, but uh, his one defender actually does a nice little block shot. So come into uh, uh, basically a flat circles type uh, corner type play. Um, look to the right, and um, he just barely misses me. He whiffs with his blitz. So right now I come into uh, a play where I've got. Uh, the tight end uh, streaked up because I know that he's going to miss that zone. So sure enough, he comes in. I'm able to go ahead and attack him with Paul, get him down, get the ball down to the 15-yard line because he's he's manually blitzing me. So go back into an inside zone right here um, out of that uh, ace formation. I get a nice little seal with the blocks. Fournette's able to go ahead and take the ball down into the red zone, down to the one-yard line. So I'm actually chewing the clock. I go with uh, the single back uh, bunch uh, formation, quick little pitch. And sure enough, I get the seal blocking. I'm able to go ahead and take Fournette in for a touchdown. So up 10 nothing. And uh, the guy's back on offense again. So right here, I go ahead and switch up my defense and try to do an inverted cover two shell. And he actually just wings the ball up. 
three wide receivers in one area, but Ramsey comes down with the ball to get a nice little interception. So a uh, minute of five down uh, with the game right here. So I go to levels concept, uh, and I, I just hit the guy right across the middle because, once again, he's blitz, manually blitzing me, so I'm able to go and pick up uh, a good eight yards right here, going to stick uh, on the left-hand side. Uh, look for the little out route by, uh, by the uh, uh, slot receiver. I'm able to go and pick up first down. Back to levels off to the right hand side, um, and I think I think in the previous play he was running some man coverages, so I'm, I'm looking for the corner route. Uh, but he actually goes ahead and hits me, and actually gets me off guard. And his defensive back actually goes ahead and comes down with it. So actually that was a yeah. The previous play he used a man coverage. This play he actually uses uh, cover three, and because he manually blitzed, he actually caught me off my game. So uh, that it was causing me some problems, but it doesn't seem like he had a lot of shell uh, a lot of uh, issues with it. So hit him with the blitz again. He had no answer for the sting blitz. He he wasn't blocking his running back. He wasn't pass protecting. Um, and I'm just going to go and just keep hitting with him because he keeps taking his running back out, and he's not making his reads fast enough. So inside blitz actually hits him again with with Smith. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and key him up. Uh, third and 21 type of situation right here uh, with the blitz. Clock is ticking down. He's got about 17 seconds left. He's still got all of it. He's got two of his timeouts. He actually catches the ball right there on the fourth and two, and he opts to let the clock to run out. So he could have took, he could have basically took a timeout, maybe take one more shot for the red zone, but he doesn't. So just, just poor clock management. So right here, because um, he was running some occasional man coverages with blitzes, I try to block all my wide receivers except for the little uh, uh, block and release route. And I got an up and go with the hopes that he's going with a, with an all-out man blitz, but he isn't. You can see I've got a bracketed coverage off the right-hand side, but the little uh, delayed whip route is actually open, so I'm able to go ahead and pick up four yards. Come here uh, with a, like uh, a nice little dive play with the hope I get some good blocking. Uh, Deion Jones does get blocked. He does a little block shot. I'm able to go and pick up a couple yards. Third and one type of situation. I'm just going to do a dive play with the expectation it's not going to stop. And I actually go with a dual halfback swap. And uh, his guy just comes off the edge and actually goes and, and gets me. So uh, I just go for it. Um, I figured, what the hell, I just need to chew the clock against this guy. I do a power O against him, and right here I get some pretty good seal blocking with my guard. The guard finally picks up his, his linebacker, and that's it for him. He can't handle it, so he goes in and quits out. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching my games. I hope you uh, picked up some good tips from it, but you got to use that 34 uh, Sting Punch uh, Blitz. It is a really great blitz. Thanks a lot.